Hey guys, it's me, Iggy, and I'm here to talk to you about my Instagram photos. This is a picture of me getting thermage on my face. I think it's very important to have good skin because I'm one of those grown-ups that would still get pimples even after they were a teenager and I was like, why is this happening to me? Thermage doesn't really get rid of your pimples, but it does tighten your skin and keep your skin firm and I think it's extra cool because you get to have a grit on your face and that makes it cooler than all the other treatments. I got a lot of shit for this picture from my friends who were younger than me because they told me, Iggy, you're old. We don't take pictures with our cell phones in the mirror anymore like that. That's old people stuff. And I didn't realize, and they all text me and gave me a lot of shit. I'm not that old, I'm only 27, but I've never felt so old in my life. My friend who I've known for the last seven years turned 19. I took them on this yacht in Cabo. This is one of his friends who's also my friend, Chris. We all got like kind of a little bit day drunk and I kissed a guy on the boat. And then this picture went everywhere that this guy that I kissed was my boyfriend. So I wanted to make a joke of it. And I was like, you've got the wrong guy. Chris, my friend is actually my boyfriend. And that's really who I was on the boat with, but it really wasn't. And I'm, I didn't have my, any boyfriends on the boat. I was just drunk being ratchet. We were gonna get tattoos. That's when you know you're too drunk when everyone collectively decides they should go to a tattoo parlor. I guess you could call this uh, an advertisement for being single. Girls take pictures like this a lot more when they don't have boyfriends. Hey guys, I'm hot and I'm lonely. DM me. That's what this is. This is an Instagram picture of one of my bulldogs, Jelly. She runs around like at full speed for two minutes and then she just crashes and burns because she's a bulldog. That's why I picked her. And she also has a resting bitch face like me. This is as happy as she can ever look. I create these effects doing a lot of different things. Like I'll filter over stuff and then have other photos that get cropped over and I edit out parts and layer and I do all kinds of stuff. The photo like this probably has like four to six things done to it to make it look this shit. Takes a lot of work. This Instagram, Snacks on Deck, is very old actually. I used to bulk buy my favorite snacks from Australia that I missed. This is obviously one of my snack hauls. Now I only get these snacks if my mom comes into town to visit, but I used to go online and I would buy them that would come like this and I would have big snack hauls. I really do wonder how much smelling ability ducks have. They have holes in their beaks, but it doesn't seem very useful. Also, I had a lot of ducks in my pool because a mother duck decided to lay all her eggs in my backyard and then she had ducklings. And so I had a bunch of duck related questions that ensued about how I could make friends with the ducks. Sorry, I just need to know. Did they say they could? I was on my way to South by Southwest. We stopped off at a barbecue place and they had a lot of cowboy hats that were available and we bought them and posted them. People from Texas were like, not everybody from Texas wears cowboy hats. However, oddly enough, there's quite a few cowboy hat stores in Texas. I'm not saying you all wear cowboy hats. I'm just saying if you ever come across a pink cowboy hat, you should wear it and you should purchase it because they're very rare. This is a photograph of me backstage at the VMAs after I had performed with one of my good friends, Demi Lovato. And this is what I wore after to go and try to eat pizza with Demi. And we drove all the way to this pizza place that we heard was really good. And when we got there, it was closed. This was my Halloween costume this year with my friend, Ali. And we both really love AbFab and we've been wanting to dress up as AbFab. We always dress up like partner dress ups, kind of like couples dress ups, but lamer than that, because we're just friends. Does that make it more loserish? Well, we do it. My grandmother still insists on sending me a physical Christmas card through the mail. And the card always arrives like one month after Christmas every year because she just sends it regular posts. Uh, I guess it got there pretty good December 28th. So she did good this year. She got me a kookaburra card 
But the reason why I like kookaburras is because they find someone to be with and they be with them forever. That's why I have two, because they're in love. She always sends me Australian themed things, like cards and stuff, which I think is kind of weird because I don't need a stuffed koala bear or I don't need kangaroo pajamas because I didn't just vacation in Australia. I lived there my whole childhood. This is clearly the best picture of all time, and that's undebatable. This is my best friend Ali's dog, Helicopter, who I named. Heli for short, Helicopter Versace, Hernandez is her real name, and I felt like Helicopter was the kind of dog that should wear mini hats, and so I got her like a whole wardrobe of mini hats, and I think it's absolutely just the dumbest, most ridiculous thing you could do is put a mini hat on a dog, so you should put a mini hat on your dog and you should take pictures of it. This is a picture of a baby finch that I rescued. When my dog, Jelly, was a puppy, she kept finding them and putting them in her mouth and some of them she would eat and some of them she would just kind of carry around and drop off to me. I found this finch in her mouth and I felt really bad for him, so I drove this finch all the way out to Malibu and I dropped him off and I hope he's okay, I hope he's still alive. This is a picture of my dog Space Jam when I first got her and she was a Laker girl, but she's not into the Lakers anymore. And neither am I. All right guys, so that was my Instagram. Now you know a little bit more about why I post what I post. I hope you have fun watching and keep tuned into my Instagram. It's at the new classic. I'm always taking animals hostage and eating tons of chicken nuggets on there if you're interested. <laughs>